Hello, I'm Melissa Muller Daka, and I'm the owner of Aolo Restaurant. We opened about four months ago, and I do contemporary Sicilian cuisine. Um, today, I'm going to prepare for you some couscous. Uh, I'm going to prepare a, a hand rolled couscous, uh, which is it's, it's actually a, a couscous made in Tunisia, uh, and it's really beautiful because it's uh, all of the all of the grains are of a it look a little bit different. Because, being that they're hand rolled, so they're, um, they're, they're rolled with semolina flour and olive oil and then they're sun dried. So I really love this quality of couscous and it's uh, becoming more and more popular to find in, in local supermarkets. After I cook the couscous, I put it in a large mixing bowl. I add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and I add cooked onion, carrot, celery, and diced red and yellow pepper, uh, which, is, which will be lightly sauteed in olive oil. I also add the toasted almond slivers, uh, julienne's basil, and some cold tomato sauce. Uh, and I have some mussel broth that I prepared earlier, uh, which is uh, mussels with some white wine and some herbs and garlic. Um, it's basically the juice of the of the mussels. So that's a that's a key to add that to give a little bit more fish flavor. On our dinner menu, how I serve this dish is actually with a piece of seared cod on top of it, um, and that's that's fine. Actually, any type of seafood is fine to add to the top uh, and to mix into the broth and add on top of the couscous. Today, I'm going to prepare it with the mussels and the crab crab meat, which would be more of a pasta course than an entree course. Okay, so Charles and I are going to cook the couscous now. We do that by, again, I'm going to toast it by first putting it in the saute pan. And then we're going to cover it with, with the boiling water. Um, again, the couscous is a half of, this is for one portion. The couscous is a half a cup and the water is about three quarters of a cup. I think I went a little over, so we'll stop there. Now I'm going to add a bit of salt, a few pinches of salt, and some extra virgin olive oil. We're searing the codfish with the skin side down until the skin gets crispy. And then to finish the cooking process, we'll turn it over and let it cook on the flesh side. The whole process takes no more than five minutes. We add saffron at this point to the reduced white wine. To plate the couscous dish, we fill up a ring mold with the warm, the heated couscous. So now we place the cooked codfish on top of the couscous with the skin side up. And we place around the dish the mussels. We pour the broth around the side of the couscous.